So again, we have our command term here says simplify. Simplify has meant a lot of things this year. When you have fractions and you're adding two fractions, it's considered simplified if your final answer is one fraction. So right now in A, we have 2x over 7 plus 5 over 3x. The word simplify says, can you write this as a single fraction? And once you get that single fraction, if you can simplify further by having it in lowest terms, you'll have to do that as well. So right now, it is not a single fraction because we've got 2x over 7 plus 5 over 3x. So we have to think, well, in order to add fractions, I need a common denominator. On this side, I have a 7. On this side, I have a 3x. What's missing from this side? A 3x. So we multiply by 3x and 3x on the top. The reason we multiply by 3x on the bottom and the top is because technically we're multiplying by 3x divided by 3x, which is equal to 1. And any time you multiply by 1, you don't change what the fraction is equal to. You just change how it looks, right? If I have 2 thirds and I multiply it by 1, 3 over 3, I change what it looks like. Now 2 thirds looks like 6 ninths, but I don't change what it's equal to because 2 thirds and 6 ninths are the same thing. So that's the same thing we're doing here. I multiply by 3x over 3x. That's equal to 1. I'm going to change what that first fraction looks like. Now my second fraction, it's missing on the bottom a 7. So I multiply by 7 over 7. So I'm going to change what it looks like, but not change what it equals to. Now we have 6x squared over 21x plus 35 over 21x. And now that I have a common denominator, I can add the tops. And here is where things get a little bit tempting because you have to simplify more if you can and sometimes you're going to be tempted to simplify when you can't. So remember that what we learned in 7.2 when we were multiplying to dividing and when we could simplify, you can simplify when things are multiplied together. When things are added or subtracted, like they are on top here, these get grouped together. That is one factor when there's an adding or subtracting in between. And the only way I can simplify that factor is if I have the completely same thing on the bottom. Because sometimes you'll get tempt tempted to say, can I cancel this x with this x? Or can I simplify 6 over 21? Because they both can be divided by 3. The answer is no, because that 6x squared is going to get grouped together with that plus 35. The only way you can simplify things is if it's multiplying. So if we wanted to check if we can simplify the top in the green brackets, is there a number I could factor out? Is there a common factor? And there's not, so we would be done at this point. But you have to go through that process of saying, can I factor the top? Is there something I could pull out? And if there was, then I could simplify it further. But this one, the way it is right now, is done. For B, if we look, what's missing in the first one? It needs a 4 and a B. So you'll need to multiply the top. Well, there's already one B there, right? So adding another B will get a B squared. In this one, I don't need to add any more Bs because I've already got B squared, but I'm going to need to have a 5A and a 5A. So that's going to give me 16B over 20AB squared minus 15A over 20AB squared. Now I've got a common denominator. Now I can just subtract the tops. Again, you might be tempted to simplify that 16 over the 20. 
but you have to think because there's a subtract sign, these two get grouped together. And since there's nothing in common that I can factor out of the top, I would be done at this point. This is simplified. Which sometimes when you look at the original and you look at what simplified looks like, it doesn't necessarily look more simple than what you began with, but it technically it's simplified. Okay, the questions you can do for this one are 3, 4, and 5.